ESPN. Coming up next from Lindsey Nelson Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee, it's the 12th ranked Tennessee Volunteers hosting the 21st ranked Texas A&M Aggies. Hello everybody, Derek Jones and Chris Burke with you today. And Chris, it's been a very interesting start to the series so far between these two teams, both won by the Vols in very different ways. Yeah, we got a couple star-studded teams, right? You got Texas A&M, the defending Western champs. Tennessee, the defending Eastern champs, the overall SEC champs from last year. Big expectations this year. A big series for both clubs because they got off to a bad start. And it has been all about the offenses here in Knoxville this weekend. Jack Moss hit over 380 last year for the Aggies. A little bit of a slow start, but he has heated up this weekend. A big bomb yesterday, a big part of that offense for the Aggies. For Tennessee, it's a three-headed monster. Christian Moore, Jared Dickey, and Blake Burke are the stars of this team. And boy, have they played like it this weekend. Blake Burke launched one into the atmosphere on Friday night. Dickey and Moore were the stars yesterday, including this walk-off winner where Dickey drives in Moore. So it's been all about the offenses and a lot of star power on the field here this afternoon, Derek. Moore and Dickey playing key roles in yesterday's win. As Chris talked about, Jack Moss also huge as well. He'll try to continue his role for this Texas A&M offense in this series, but he will have a difficult time perhaps today dealing with this guy, the sophomore, Drew Beam. Chris, what do you see when you take a look? Well, he's a polished pitcher, making his 20th, 21st career start, excuse me. So plenty of experience, even though he's just a sophomore. You're going to see four quality pitches. The fastball get up to 96, cutter, curve, change up as well. They call him QB1 because he played quarterback in high school and he was the SEC freshman of the year last year. Off to a great start this year. Certainly a potential first round pick in next year's draft. A lot to like about this Sunday starter for the Vols. He'll get a look at this Texas A&M lineup that will be led off by Case and Wells, Haas and Moss, one, two, three. As both Lavalette, who had a game-tying hit yesterday, Werner, Targach, Bard, and Thompson. And this is a team that certainly can steal the bases once they get on. It was a tough time for them to get on early after that first inning where they jumped out to 